I would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of project management. Uh, at the end of this video, you will be able to learn what do you mean by scheduling and uh, what is the purpose of doing scheduling and what are the types of scheduling and uh, simple examples of scheduling. Okay, well, how scheduling is important uh, in the domain of project management. First of all, we'll understand uh, what is scheduling. So, you know, uh, it is the process of deciding how to arrange the resources between variety of possible activities and tasks. Because resources are very scarce, the arrangement of the resources between variety of possible activities and the duties. So that is the major thing by scheduling. The purpose of scheduling, why scheduling is needed? To minimize the production time because time is money, time is very precious. Okay. So meeting the like required time in the project is most important and we have to minimize the cost as well. Also, project scheduling aims to maximize the efficiency of the operation. As the efficiency increases, that will be really helpful for the project management. We can deliver the project on time and we'll be getting so many satisfied customers. Still, we'll be getting another project. Likewise, the process will keep going on. Therefore, uh, ma major purpose is how to arrange the resource and how to save the production time and how to improve the efficiency. These are the major thing regarding major aspects of uh, scheduling. As you can see, scheduling has been divided into two types. First one is forward scheduling. Other one is called a backward scheduling. So you might have heard about the nor, uh, forward engineering and reverse engineering. Same concept you can apply here in case of scheduling. So first we'll understand what is the meaning of forward scheduling. The forward scheduling can be defined as the planning of tasks from the date of resources become available to determine the shipping date or due date. So we require, in order to start a project, we require raw material, we require machines, men, etc. So all the raw material should be available. When the uh, material is available, you count that date and when we can finish, when we can deliver the product. That is generally called as forward scheduling. Okay. So that's a general thing. Available material, material is ready or man, man material, machine, everything is ready. Then uh, delivery. That particular scheduling is known as forward scheduling. What do you mean by like, uh, can you give some examples? Forward scheduling starts from the project start date and schedules the task occur as soon as possible. Okay, as soon as you deliver the material, you can start the project work. So, okay, then we can estimate when the project will be completed. This is regarding forward scheduling. Uh, in the case of uh, backward scheduling, uh, the thing is, uh, it's just like a reverse engineering. So, the planning the task from due date. So, anyway, like uh, uh, you, you should know when the project will be delivered due date from the due date to like a beginning date you will be uh, scheduling the required day by day to determine the start date like from uh, end to first end to beginning that is actually called a backward scheduling anyway uh, we will be coming to we will come to know that when we are supposed to deliver the project to the client or customer from from that day to when when as the starting date that we are going to prepare the schedule that is generally called as backward scheduling uh, you know uh, the one more important point i want to add Backward scheduling starts from the project end date and schedule task occur to the occur to the as late as possible while still meeting in the project deadline. So that is actually called a backward scheduling. You can uh, go for either any one of the statement which is convenient. From the last day to beginning, you are supposed to schedule. That is generally called as backward scheduling. Last date in the sense when the project needs to be delivered to the clients. Okay. Now, why we go, we have to go for uh, scheduling? What are the major advantages of going for scheduling? Process changeover reduction. So, like uh, uh, we already know that uh, to change the process from one for one method to another method, that we can minimize it. Also, we can save the inventory. We can reduce the cost of inventory. Also, leveling cost can be reduced. Then uh, reduce the scheduling effort. Okay, if we go for like either forward or backward scheduling, we can minimize the scheduling effort, and we'll be getting a better plan. Increase the production efficiency, of course then time can be saved. Okay, labor load leveling. That also one of the plus point. Accurate delivery date of codes. We can deliver the, like uh, time is money. Time is very important in project management. We can deliver either product or service to the clients on time. Then real-time information. We are able to track the real-time information. These are the major benefits of uh, scheduling. Okay. Ultimately, in this session, we discussed about forward scheduling and backward scheduling. So initially, we discussed about why scheduling is required. So afterwards, we have discussed about uh, types of scheduling later forward scheduling so like uh, the, when uh, like uh, whenever resources and uh, men material money everything is available we are going to uh, schedule it okay 
so like uh, all the capital everything is available then we are planning to complete the task that is called a forward scheduling in case of backward scheduling and we we, we work from due date that uh, when the deadline when is the deadline from the deadline onwards we are going to schedule that is generally called as backward scheduling and we discussed advantages as well so let me know if you have any questions related to forward scheduling and backward scheduling apart from that you might have received a good information about what is product schedule project scheduling this is most important term. Project scheduling is most important term in the case of project management. If you are watching our channel, first time I request you to subscribe. If you are uh, interested in these kind of videos, kindly subscribe our channel and share with your friends. Also, kindly put the hit button for uh, and also put the uh, bell button for getting similar kind of video. Thank you very much for watching this video. Happy